Today's going to be the discussion of the daily life of an immortal demon king episode 11 that actually is now going to commence. So, very interesting if you know, at the beginning of the episode they mentioned that that tag actually restrains his feelings, which that is ginormous. I wanted to talk more about it in the last one, but I wasn't sure. Of course. Okay. So, he spawned right next to him. I think he's just gonna ignore him. Oh, it was a clone. Oh, you do. Alright. So this guy's actually thinking. Hmm. Okay. So these are clones. Hmm. But they spawned right next to them. Isn't that unfair? Or everyone spawns right next to them. This looks cool. Oh. So is the field itself defending itself? Is that the assistant? Ah, there she is. No, okay. I feel like you're making a mistake. <laughs> she looks so unimpressed. Oh, she's a spider. Okay, this is fun. I wonder whether he'll be able to mentions. She's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Wow, yeah. Alright, how are you stronger than the demon frog? Oh, this is actually a fight. Yeah. Okay, so is she actually playing the game? Will he actually try? And also, his emotions are actually probably going out of luck now. Oh. What? A word? Hmm. Oh, that's neat. Hmm. The animation is very good in this. It's amazing, actually, I would say. Oh! Oh! Her sword also is a human! Also, the st powerful people actually they start turning into people. Is this bleach? Okay. This is neat. Now I understand why my brother liked it. This is so strange. I didn't think that their swords were actual people. That explains the main character as well. So yeah, it is only in, in the strong people's case, right? Okay, okay. Let's see where this is gonna go. I don't care about this conversation. Come on, spit it up. Wow, that's so cool. Oh my god. Animation is gorgeous! What's happening? Animation in this ring just, just goes ham sometimes. Ooh, neat, neat. Okay, I like this. He's just chilling there? Yeah, yeah, he is. Oh, I, I don't. Huh? There we go. Yo, okay, she's okay. Hm. Oh, she, he broke the sword. Broke? The music is back. We all hear it. Yes, whenever you hear the, hear, hear the background music, you know what's going to be happening. For it has already been decided. There it is. Touch the water so they can teleport, right? That's what she mentioned. Oh. Okay, so he knows. So this guy is going to join the faction afterwards regardless. So then he actually did something. I made a genius out of him. They've united. Is the fusion. I wanna watch the next one immediately. Do wanna watch it immediately. Hmm. One last one. Right, 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 right. I've watched seven in a row, but hey. Okay, I've not watched seven. I've watched... I watched four. Five! Five in a row is my limit. Yeah, sure, sure. I mean, I will not be able to watch the entire thing. I'm really feeling like I really want to watch a lot of these process because they're 14 minutes. I mean, legitimately speaking, I don't count opening and ending. So, this is very interesting though. I love the reveal that apparently the tag sealed his emotions as well. It was something that I thought was the case that they mentioned, uh, his sword mentioned that obviously enough, now he's gonna have to control his own emotions. And by that, you can always guess that the tag also removes his emotions. And now I feel like it's an absolute must and they absolutely have to never give him this tag again. Because I feel like it would be way more interesting if we have a little more caring, uh, not more caring, but more emotional character. Then again, I suppose the world is going to be over. But it hasn't been over yet, so who knows? Maybe he'll come up with another solution. I don't know. But hey, overall it was fun. Animation? Gorgeous. Like... God, it was amazing. I don't know what happened there. I, it absolutely phenomenal. It really was. I, I mean, I didn't expect it. Even though this has had some amazing animation moments, I just didn't expect it right there. I enjoyed the fight itself. They were super cool. Apparently, all the swords have human forms in a way. Yeah, I'm sorry. I the, this power system, I have absolutely no idea to how it works. Like, I feel like I should have an idea. So, is there some sort of outside material that I should look into? Perhaps I should read some sort of a book or a prequel series or something like that so they have a better understanding of how the world works? Or am I just supposed to be paying a lot more attention than I have? Or maybe both, I don't know. But hey, it was absolutely entertaining. Uh, the Shadow Faction girl, she actually is stronger than Froggy, which is ridiculous. And apparently that guy also knows that she's taking the place of that uh, scoundrel, whatever his name was. Uh, she's taking his place and he knows it, but he doesn't care because he'll probably join the Shadow Faction in the future so that he can be an enemy, I assume. Permanent? Rival? I don't know. 
Also, did... I don't know what to tell except the fact that this is a ridiculous show with a ridiculously good animation with fun characters and very crazy nonsensical world, so I'm having fun with it. And the next one is gonna be the watch one I'm watching today. Yeah, sure. I'll give it my best to end it with the next one, but I'm gonna watch it immediately. So for now, this is the Dark Star channel there, and bye.